women frequently come into my office with a couple different problems. They'll either come in with an identifiable mass in their breast or they'll come in with an abnormal mammogram. And inherent with those two abnormalities comes questions. And those questions come in two forms. One is, they're of course worried, is this a cancer? And that question usually comes to them because the question has been raised by another professional. Either there's something abnormal about their exam or something abnormal about their mammogram that has raised that question. So they've been told, there's something suspicious here. You could have a cancer. So in their mind, they're concerned. Do I have a cancer here? Or because someone's told them, there's an abnormality here. You need to go see a surgeon. They then have the concern, well, could I have a cancer? So now they've got it in their mind, well, maybe I don't have a cancer, but someone needs to prove to me that I don't have a cancer. If a woman has an identifiable lesion that is highly suspicious for cancer, it may be very easy to prove that that's a cancer. It may not take that much tissue. If they get an easily probable lesion right there in the office, you may be able to do a needle biopsy right then and there and send it to the lab, and on short order, you've got a diagnosis. But if a woman has a probable benign lesion, but they can feel it and it concerns them, a needle biopsy may demonstrate benign tissue, but they may not be content with that. They may have a family history of carcinoma. They may be sensitized to the subject. They may still lose sleep over that. They may not be content with that. They may want you to be very persistent with that lesion. They may want you to increase their confidence level. They may want you to be diligent and prove to them that this is benign through and through. It's not just John Agee. It might be, say, John Agee and West Valley Medical Center. John Agee may be just a small part of this. And, and West Valley Medical Center has other professionals like radiologists and pathologists. And underneath the West Valley umbrella is other departments, not just the physicians. There's the pathology department. And within the pathology department, there are technicians. And within the radiology department, there are technicians and subdivisions. There's the mammogram suite. There's the MRI department. There are subspecialists within all these departments. This is a very complex medical community that West Valley has developed. West Valley Medical Center has a magnetic resonant imaging device that's being used more frequently in the evaluation of breast neoplasms. Both the digital images on the mammograms and the ultrasounds are helping us to pick up carcinomas and ductal carcinoma in situ. Abnormal calcifications are seen in very high, high detail. From these images, we can take these patients over to our biopsy devices and try and pick up specimens that we can send straight to our pathology department to determine the true nature of these lesions. Most mammographic abnormalities can be biopsied with the help of a machine like you see behind me. They can be localized mammographically on this machine, and with this machine, the lesions can be pinpointed and biopsied with needle biopsy. It takes excellent technology to be able to provide this service. And with machines such as this, placed in a wonderful facility like this, we're able to provide that service. The pathology department at West Valley Medical Center is obviously a very integral part of what I do every day as a surgeon. Our specimens, either from the office or from the operating room, are processed here in this lab. They provide that service in an extremely timely manner. For more information about this physician or to schedule an appointment, please call our referral line or visit westvalleyisbetter.com.